Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very fine cup of tea, the good old reliable cuppa. So welcome back to the game and in the previous episode we finished off the legendary and gang only facility. I mean it's more of a logging camp and wind solar hybrid energy farm to be honest with you but we also have a prison that's a, a bit of a side gig as well and well I wanted to try and escape from it because I believe this is going to be the most difficult thing that I've made to escape from. Anyway, Prisoner Lebru, what an awesome name. Prisoner number 13453340 sentence for... Well, I actually don't know. Either way, it looks like everyone's coming in to clean so they can start to clean their own blood up as we uh, punch around here. And all I'm doing is just trying to farm some points. My my goal is not to um, my goal is not to basically uh, get to a point where we can gather other inmates and escape. I'm just wanted to farm these points here, and this arm guard is probably going to have a bit of a word with me. And oh yeah, they're going to come inside, so we'll hide behind. And what what you're going to have to come inside and get some. There we go. Right, mm. that um, that happened. <laughs> well, we've seen this as an architect. We've not seen this as the incarcerated from this side of the table. Okay, so apparently that guard was really not bothered about our um, well-being and or keen on our behaviour. Um, time taken, 3 hours and 24 minutes. We did escape from the prison, albeit horizontally. So, I think what I'm going to do is reload that and maybe not anger the armed guard that I know for a fact has free fire on. So we've loaded back in, this time with prisoner uh, Kit, and well, it looks like King is going to be escorted elsewhere. So the thing is, I don't think there's any contraband to be found, really. We've got the yard here. And we've got the uh, canteen and we've got the barbed wire that we definitely can't climb over. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, actually, yes, there's the... Um... <laughs> ah. well, that was even shorter. That was 33 minutes. <laughs> that was the... Yes, that was the sniper taking us out because they've got free fire on. And it occurs to me that the reason this has happened twice now is because we're not a legendary prisoner. We don't have all of the traits that these other ones do, which is why they tend to survive such encounters. Okay, this is going to be even more difficult, if not impossible, from what I thought. Uh, reload? So back in the facility as Prisoner Onion here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch the guard and just see what happens. So we were immediately knocked unconscious, I'll skip punishments here, and I'm just going to wait for them to leave, or look, they're taking King with them. And we do still need to farm some points, so I'm just going to uh, punch a couple of these things here and cause a bit of damage, although I have a feeling that um, basically we're going to, uh, yes, not have a good time, but we're going to have to skip the punishments there again. I mean, even just getting a certain number of points farmed to get reputation is going to be pretty much impossible. Although there's three points there. Um, if we rip the pillow in half, uh, we might be able to get some more. Don't want to hit the bird cage. Looks like the guard's coming in and we can we can try and dodge around them. If I could disarm them in somewhere, that would be good. And, oh, there's a taser that we missed and... <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> that wasn't as quick as the last one. That was 50 minutes until we got taken out. And I don't even know what took us out. I think it might have just been the guard again. Huh. So this is the fourth attempt now, and we've been escorted once again to our cell. The problem is that we can't leave here, so we can't even get any bit of contraband. As soon as we start fighting outside, the sniper here is going to start assaulting, uh, uh, start pulling triggers, and um, yeah, uh, the guards are also super guards, and we're not a super prisoner, we're not legendary. So I'm just going to wait for that guy to walk away. Can't see any armed guards. Right, let's start to farm some points. What I'm, the, I think the only chance we have really is just to farm some points. So if I break the TV, if I break the desk, if I break... Yeah, there we go, that's broken, and do that. And it is still saying surrender, although I don't know if we 
do we have to surrender or can we give up? No, uh, does it end fight? So end fight, we can then go right across the way here. And there we go. We're not going to pick up swimmer because naturally we don't need it. Looks like there's a guy um, who's repairing that and I'm just going to scare them away. Oh, wow. I managed to punch through the bars. Brilliant. Um, okay. So this guy's coming in to try and uh, help us out. Uh, we'll attack the... We'll attack the person here and knock them out. And oh, look at this. The, the staff are so well trained. They're able to uh, fully heal up. I mean, not those, obviously. And oh, there's the there's the Bowtie Bandit coming in. Uh, run away, run away. Um, I love it that these workers are almost invulnerable because they've all got they've all got the ability to heal. And oh, I don't really want to take out the, the Bowtie Bandit. Oh, there's a shotgun. Oh, I'm surrendering. Surrendering, hands up. And immediately we get healed. So we're going to skip punishments and then we're going to go over to reputation and get all of the, you know, the the good reputations here. So uh, yeah, let's just pick up some more points. What I mean by that is assault people and looks like that guy's in here and yeah, clean up aisle four. I'm hearing some shotguns there, some shotgun uh, fire. I'm just going to give up. I'm putting my hands up. Skip punishments once again because we know that those guys can take us out. And there we go. There is all of the... Yeah, there's all of the things that we can get. So, do we want to try and run out? Uh, yeah, go. So we're running out and... Oh, there was a... I don't know if you saw that. There was a... Someone that had line of sight to us and... Oh, hang on. Are we going to get out? Oh, we might get out here. So, we know the sniper's on the left. I'm going to have to keep running. I'm running past these guys because they might actually heal me. But looks like that's not the case. And I'm going to have to break through this here. And, oh, there's so many armed guards. Ooh, okay. Skip punishments. And let's try and escape again. So, out through here. This guy's got line of sight on us. What if I duck behind here and skip punishment? Okay, what about up and round? Up. And then round, and then through this way. Yeah, there you go. Removing the line of sight for the sniper. Oh, no, the sniper can see over there. Um, just keep going. Faster, faster, faster. And we're through, and we're unconscious. Skip punishments once it... Oh, hang on. What happened there? Oh. <laughs> what happened there is we were healed. And then... Yeah, we were healed. And then we were... Uh... Yeah, knocked unconscious again. Skip punishments. Hmm... Well, maybe up and over. So there's that line of sight. I think I'm just directly to the right here. Because I don't think they're going to get another shot off. They have. And we're over the fence. And over the fence. And we're out. Okay. Yeah, we can climb over the fence. Hmm. What if we just do that again, but just go north? Yeah, let's try that. So we're back in our cells with, uh, this time, a different prisoner. We do need to get some points, and the way I'm going to do that is, again, just by uh, breaking some of this stuff. I'm not going to pick up necessarily everything. I don't know what we need, actually, um, points-wise. I think we need extremely strong to climb over stuff, and I think we need... Um, we can end a fight there. And what do we need? Strong. This prisoner hits harder with each punch. Quick. Uh, unnaturally fast runner. Tough, strong... And quick. Can we get away with just that? I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's just farm some more points because we'll make them extremely, extremely strong and quick. I think that's the only stuff we need. I'm trying to break this um, canvas and easel, and it's literally made of wood, but it's taken. We can manage to break the bars by punching it once, but um, apparently something made of canvas and wood is the hardest thing to break. Um, there's some more points there. And um, waiting for it to end fight, which we'll now do. I'm going to go with extremely strong. This guy's going to uh, try and repair this thing. And there, and now I'm conscious. Let's just uh, farm some more points here. What about the birdcage? How hard is that to damage? Pretty, pretty hard. We'll do the same thing here. I like the way when you punch it, it just basically slowly starts falling over. And we'll break the pillow there. That's worth some points and then we need another one point and there we go and it's all surrender I don't really want to surrender um, I guess I'll, I'll surrender for that and skip punishments for the one point it's gonna take and we're gonna go with extremely strong and extremely tough right let's try it so see you later and run our way out now 
So over the fence and over the fence. Yep, there we go. Easy, right. <laughs> I was making it a lot more difficult for myself. So that has been a bit of an escape attempt. Several escape attempts. We found out that the guards have absolutely zero chill. You need to very carefully gather your reputation points. And the best way out is basically a blitz attempt and jump over the wall. That means then, in order to make this more secure, we need to make those walls better. Now, that was always the goal. Um, however, I assumed we were going to expand, so there's no point in putting a perimeter wall around that. When if we expand to the north and south to get more cells, it means we just have to knock that down. So I do think that if we expand, which is almost a certainty these days, then when we do that, we'll expand north, expand south, and then put the perimeter wall in as a standard affair and then measure it. But we'll see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed this little mess around on Prison Architect Escape Mode. If you like to see, by all means, let me, let me know in the comments and we'll go from there. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.